There we go, there we go. Welcome back, YouTube. The stream we haven't stopped. It's quite early. Yeah, well, we're looking at it. No. Can I, can I not put you here? Mephi, why can I not put you here? I, I wanted to look at the mountain together. Does it have to be on a solid road? Alright, I guess so. But yeah, YouTube. We have a Mephi. And there's only one thing left. The mountain awaits. The final ascent awaits. Let's do it. Come on, Mephi. Alright, let's get this greedy bastard. You can carry around even more items. I like it. I like your initiative. It's 80 grand! Greedy bastard! 100,000. This guy. This fucking guy. It better be like money bags. Like, at the end, we just get all our money back. Or we're allowed to just, like, beat him up. And get all our money back, like in Spyro 3. Hello, sir. It is done. Each of the Pokemon nobles. I'll kill Benny if you so desire. <clears throat> each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them have been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us. But I am glad to see it put to an end. And to think, peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on the world, on a world restored to normality. Are you saying that I am Joy Boy? Am I going to bring the dawn of the world? Am I going to topple the five elder stars and bring Marie Joie to its end? I've been watching too much One Piece. Dude, though, before I begin, like, just before we actually begin the final ascent, I know nobody really cares, but, like, have if you do, if you're watching it or reading it, have you seen the latest fucking manga, the latest chapter of One Piece, where, you know... The thing, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this up, just, just so you can see it, and it won't mean anything, it literally won't mean anything to, to most people. Uh, but like, when, when everybody saw this, it's like, oh fuck, uh, one piece. Chapter 1043. This this won't mean anything to most people, but like for everybody that's invested in One Piece, this is like the old fuck moment. Old fuck moment. So uh, yeah, he's melting. And, like, Joy Boy might actually... A, either Joy Boy is coming, and it's like, oh shit. Or, Gear 5th slash The Awakening. Like, there's a potential that Luffy's Devil Fruit is Awakening. And again, like, if you don't watch it, doesn't really mean anything to anybody. But an Awakening is a big deal. Like, when we saw... Do Flamingo's Fruit Awaken, it was like, oh shit, that's fucking crazy. So if the main character's fruit has reached the state of awakening, then like, oh shit, that's fucking crazy. So the dawn of the world is coming. We will be reaching Laugh Tale sooner than you think. 
When the dawn breaks, when the day breaks, it will break upon a world restored to normality. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Complete the fucking Pokedex. That's gonna be a long one, that is. Here he is. Here's the man, you know he's fucking coming. Yep, there he is. Go on, say it. Say it! You do this one live and we're gonna do this and we're just gonna make it big we're gonna make it big <laughs> all right I hope that I actually picked up on like <laughs> on the fucking face rig because it'll be funny ah uh. I can do it again. Further, the demons told me to. <laughs> Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Tato Moche. I wanna smack you. I'll see you'd recommend but Yeah, bring something else out! Recommend me something else! No, he just nods and walks off. Just nods and walks off. The man said if you recommend anything else, that means that you have other things upon your menu, sir. Now that Avalog's quelled, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have wreaked if it wasn't for Spyro never coming to us. <clears throat> Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift does not seem to be closing. Although wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Spyro would be stuck here? I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, we'll always have a home here in Jubilife Village. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than completing the Pokedex. With you around, that Pokedex is as good as complete. That is going to take quite a while, sir. And Kirby and Ghostwire are coming out at the end of this month. And we've also got, like, Mario Kart that we can play tomorrow. I am eating tacos, and I missed out. How many attempts did you defeat Avalog? Third attempt. Third attempt. Also, you have tacos. Bastard. Why don't you give me some tacos? I'm here with this garbage potato moche that turn the ovens on just keeps bringing me. Spyro, I told you not to say that. I'm sorry, Vappy. Like, the man does not bring out anything else. Come now. Ray, don't sell yourself short. You're a fully fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Oh, sure. I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal. It's not a hearty meal. It's this garbage meal. We have now established... We have now established, from what you said, if he recommends anything else, bring it out. We have now established, from your words, that this man 
has other things on his menu and he refuses to serve these other things and he just keeps fucking serving the same goddamn matcha. You see that kaboom? That was me blowing up his restaurant. That was me blowing up his restaurant for giving me the same garbage every time when we know he's got other things on this menu. Did, oh, did Benny's restaurant explode? Yes. Disaster looming. Please, please just like have his restaurant on fire. I just just one. Just one building. Just his building for me. Doesn't look good. Yep, the rift is growing bigger. Final ascent begins. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space and time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. Got to report to his office at once. Final ascent, baby! Mm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is more pressing concerns here that must be addressed. Uh, we already have one, and from the Daybreak trailer, it looks like there's just going to be, like, an infinite number of, um, Zoroarks, like, Alpha Zoroarks. Like, let me, let me just show you the, the Daybreak trailer while I, be, why I am not worried. Archeos Daybreak. I'm not worried about finding the Alpha Mephi, because... We can find packs of them. We will literally be fighting like three or four alphas at once. And one of these is going to be a girl. So, you know. But we have got a normal one. There is a normal one in the party. We have got a regular sized one. Anyway. The first strike of that strange lightning. The one that drove Cleavor into a frenzy. It struck the night that Spyro fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Spyro? I'm a dragon! I'm a dragon. Unlike Malfor, I can destroy this world if I want. I can't tell... Where exactly? Or oh, shiny? Spyro calls the lightning. I have lightning powers! Like, you know, I, I bear... I bear fire, ice, lightning, and earth. And cinder bears darkness, poison, um, wind, and fear. I... I do not know. Fight me. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. Your connection... You are connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that Spyro wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got some sort of fearsome power it'd take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt 
though she is free from guilt. This person, this stranger appeared out of a rift in space and time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee they are to be trusted? Well, that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Spyro supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. She remains a suspect until she can clear the name. There are those in this village who cannot trust a stranger like you, who fell from the Skylands. And so, I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you have restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Cywene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Spyro? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free, rather than clap you in chains. I'll break those chains, mate. You're always welcome with me in Team Rocket. Dude, like, I I'll mouth for him. I'll blow up the fucking world. I, I have the power of God and anime on my side. Quite literally, because I have a direct phone to God. I can just call up Arceus and be like, Arceus, look at this guy. Beat him up, God. Seriously. And that's, this is old Team Galactic, like, you know, Mars, Mars vouchers for me. Orders are orders. This is why, because he's Rowan's ancestor, this is why, like, Rowan got kicked out. Excuse me a second, I'm trying to do stuff. This is why Rowan got kicked out. And this is why Mars became like the new commander, and this is why she is the best commander, and I love her. Don't worry, Mars. I will be back in a moment. Can I speak to you? Can't speak to you, but don't worry, Mars. I will be back. All right, let's let's go. Let's go, Rule 63. But you know, I, I I'll join Team Rocket. I've got no problem with that. Can't even run. I I want to run ahead of her just to be like, how could you do such a thing? I'll. I'll destroy you all. Have you never heard? I'm gonna... Alright, village, you're all calling me a bastard? You never heard, mate? You never heard? You, you never... You, I mean, TV doesn't exist yet? You never heard? Where is it? Where is it? I, I, I've gotta, I've gotta like, just get the one little clip. That's all I can play because Disney will, Disney will literally fuck me. Mickey Mouse will slap me with a big DMCA, but yeah, you, you heard the little clip. People don't learn. Understood. Get get me out of here. I'll be fine. I've got Mephi. I've got Kai. I've got Moon Knight. I've got Master Vappy. I've got Aiden. I'll be fine in the wilds. Get me out of here. I'll come too. <clears throat> As will I. I'll allow it. I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Not I don't want to go to Fieldlands camp. I need to go the mountain. I 
can't believe the boss would do this. You quelled all those nobles under his own orders. Quite right, moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This utter, this is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, uh, do, you're a man of science, so you do know that Vappy is the best Pokemon, as scientifically proven by real scientists that do actual science. Can you concur with their evidence? I must fight such an illogical thinking. You must not. You will only cause Spiral more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. No one, now they won't. However, there are two others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond and Pearl clan. Of course, perhaps Adam or Irida might take you in. Though I am afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Leah at the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where it might be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone, that's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey that the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own value. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. I'm not alone. See this? I'm not alone. See that? Can, I, can I do more than one? Look, I've got Mephi, I've got Kai, I've got Vappy, I've got Zera, I've got Aiden. I'm not alone. Let's go, everyone. Oh, that's... Are they still level three? Yeah, they are, aren't they? Do we do we get some some dark stormy music to accompany our journey? I don't I don't even know what what kind of music we've got. Oh, you know what, dirt mouth. You know that's that's the low point. This one I think it is. Yeah. I know how to make atmosphere. I'll turn it down just a little bit. Hollow Knight soundtrack. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna get a drink. But Hollow Knight soundtrack really does go with anything. That's <sighs> better. And all the other camps <clears throat> do still stand. But you can no longer return to base. 
Lamington is gone. I wanna, I wanna keep going slow, just to make it like more, more dramatic, more thematic. We've been kicked out, we got the sad music, and we're slowly moving to somebody that might be able to help us, as the sky is blood red. It's almost Dark Souls-like. The world is dying, we need to relink the first flame. That's why the Shadow Vaults are better. Yeah. They don't play the gacha game. I want to say, like, it's daytime to catch this, because I know I need to catch these in the daytime, but, like, I don't know if it's day or night time, because it's just keeping the sky as one solid colour. And I, d I don't think time exists. I think we're in stasis. I believe time is currently erased. And considering the torches are on, I have to believe that it's like night time. Or at least it's somewhere in the in-between. Hello, sir. I've been, I've been kicked out. <laughs> you. What in the world did you do? Look at the size of the rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from the rift was disaster. Oh, I need your help if you want to fix it. Help! Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleavor's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. That's why we gotta have the power of friendship. We gotta unite everybody. Warden Maya might be able to help you though. She is a caring woman after all. You'll most likely find Maya at the Warn Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Asui, there is a place for you as well. She's 500 feet away. Well, I mean, you know, we've got a little, we've got a little bit more hope. Let's let's change it to uh, Green Path. Or is Green Path still a bit too happy? Green Path. OST. Green path extended. Little bit, little bit better. Because it's gonna be a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of like, thematic walking. Just to make it look a lot nicer for the videos. Because when we cut these up and it's gonna be like, ah, oh, look at us. We're walking, we're having a nice walk to our destination as the world is ending. It's going to look nice when it comes to editing. Except I'm going to have to use the bird to fly over the fucking cliff. You ruined it! Oh damn, it's getting bigger. You can now see it from here. Hello, oh, my. My, my, what a frightful sky. 
such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out, although they won't let me. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. I don't need saving. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that much as anyone. The Great Weird Ear took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope, time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. I just need to get to the fourth area so that we can ascend the mountain. That's it. Oh my god. Is Team Rocket gonna help? Because they're, they're like the outcasts in the back. They are, aren't they? Oh no, it's the Shinx. Hello, little Shinx. Do you want to meet? Do you want to meet the Queen of Lions? Do you want to meet Zara? Are we actually literally lions? lions, lions of our Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Oh no, Cynthia! How did you know I was here? How did you know to find me? Found you at last. You knew where I was. You knew exactly, it's Cynthia. It's Cynt- it has to be Cynthia! You would not know this! I've been looking all over for you. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favourite customers? I have never bought anything for you! I am not your favourite customer! Unless you are literally talking about, like, in the future, where I bought a bunch of full restores and shit. Full restores and revives! For the champion battle, of which you are the champion. She's going to be the final boss after Arceus. Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying observant of all the latest news. The good news! It seems you're in quite a pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. You're saying nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be a perfect hideaway. Leave it to me. Your house. Champion's house. I'm gonna see that Garchomp. I know you got that Garchomp, Cynthia. Here we are. I know, I know. It's no place. It's no palace. But you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Speak with the person that dwells here. It is her. Wait, where is this? Hold on a minute. Where is this? This is new. Oh, new. Old lady, hello. Shirking your work to come past me again. <laughs> Even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kog Kogaita? No, we don't know. But again, like, look at the side shot. Look at the side shot. Like, there's a little... She's wearing a hairband. I'm telling you now. He, because Volo is a boy. He is gonna pull off that hairband. That knot of hair that is, like, 
on his head is just gonna flow down and she's gonna take off that hat and we're gonna see like the little the little like black Lucario looking beads and it's gonna be fucking Cynthia no mistress thank you just Kogaita and this is why Spyro the woman of the hour she is the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last. Thank you. Indeed, I am... Guide you, lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space and time must be mended. At least time and space themselves be th oh sorry, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. Look, 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 we've got a side shot now. Look at that big ass hair bun at the back of his head. He is gonna he is gonna pull that off and it is gonna be Cynthia. That Cynthia is tying all of her hair into that knot. It is fucking Cynthia because she knows too much. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. Are you gonna tell me about your your friend that also seems to know a lot? Strange mystery lady. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. Ultra space. We're going to see the jellyfish. We're going to go see jellyfish, mom. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours dwells almighty Sinnoh. The diamond clans. Both houses. The expanse from iniquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future, while space yawns all encompassing surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you, the two together, time and space, comprise all of creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a warden such as you. A wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do, ascend the mountain. Oh no, the lake guardians. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, verity, valor, and acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us to do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their child to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are, you know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Boss. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Oh, hold on, Arceus is just calling me. 
You can now see the locations of the lake. Thank you, God. Lovely workbench. I do not need the workbench. What about the pasture? What shall we do about that indeed? Abra. We have a lost Pokemon. As well as a lost child. It's, it's, um... Rule 63! It's Rule 63's Abra! He can teleport Pokemon to us. Hello, hello, it's Nabra. Where did you teleport in from? And it's got a letter addressed to you. You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pasture in Jubilife Village. I've also entrusted that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have even I'm sorry, I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control, Silene. Let's do it. I am out. <clears throat> I am out of water. I do need to go get another bottle. Because there is going to be a lot of story here. So I'm going to grab another bottle really quick. And then, good tidings from the letter. Tell you what, Mephikai, whoever's here, I'll let you have the vote. While I get a bottle of water, you tell me what to say to him. You tell me whether I should say that's right or whether we should keep it a secret from Cynthia. I'll be back. Let me go get a, let me go get a bottle of water. Just say that's right. She knows everything anyway. You're not wrong. Let's crack it open. Mm. That's right. Now then, so we are to visit the lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be a won wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the optimist, aren't you, Volo? Such a... They know! Everybody knows! Look, they, they know! They would not come to a random-ass merchant. They would not come to a random-ass merchant. She's told them. She said, hey, my name's Cynthia. I'm from the future like Spyro. But don't say anything to him. I've managed to reassure my people. Oh, you've reassured them now. When I was on my own, you told me to fuck off. But when the champion, Cynthia, comes along, now they're fine. Now they're fine. When I rock up to you, you're like, oh, no. If, if you come in, Spyro, then shit's gonna hit the fan. We can't, we can't take that risk. But because Cynthia's told you, it's all alright. That's, it's fucking Cynthia. It's fucking Cynthia. It seems all's quiet, all's quiet for the moment. I bet it fucking is. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relationships would grow strained. Yeah, but just to, just to have Cynthia talk to the commander. If she got your entire clans to calm the fuck down when you told me to go get lost, just have Cynthia talk to the commander and be like, hey commander, you better fucking do as I say, or I'm gonna get my six IV Garchomp that is known as the strongest boss Pokemon in the entire franchise on your ass. And you won't want to meet my Garchomp, because you will paste your ass up and down the corridor. Long story short, we want to help you, but without drawing attention. So it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. 
Choose whose help you want on the path ahead. Diamonds. Adam of the Diamond Clan or Irida. Tough choice that is. Doesn't mean luck. Pick Pearl Clan. I mean luck. I like Irida. I do like Irida. But also Mars is in the Diamond Clan. And you know, Mars, like, Mars, well it's her mom, but Mars' mom is in the Diamond Clan. And he has got a little bit of sass to him. I'm going down. Obviously you'll choose me right. Who gave you the Celestial Flute in the first place? That's right, the strapping young man. You're a sassy bitch. Let's go. Thought so. You count on me. Right. So then. The leftover leader will... Leftover. I'm not someone's scraps. I will keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can finally fill in the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's three great lakes you wish to visit first. We better get on the move, no time to waste. I'll meet you wherever you decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we were seen travelling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adam. Don't cause Spyro more trouble. Alright. Go on, chat. Which which lake do you want to do first? Me and Mephi will wait here till we, till we get a response. I know it takes a while for the screen to catch up. It's like I'm actually, you're right here, it's like I'm talking to you right now, there you go, look. I'm getting responses in real time as she looks at me. Acuity, alright, acuity it is. Where would you like to head? Which one's this? Verity, no, where's, where's acuity? Missions. Verity. Uh, Obsidian Fieldlands, we are here. There you go, we're, we're already here. Oh no, sorry, you said Acuity. Acuity is in Alabaster Icelands. I'd like to go to the Alabaster Icelands, please. Where have I put that? I've got a couple of, like, little mini, like, biscuits. I'm gonna eat one while we're on our way. Alright, snow point. The Alabaster Icelands. Time for Alpha Mephi. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, I tell you what. We can save Scummit. Kai, what do the merit points do? Have you found out what the merit points do? Because I've got like 1,500 merit points and they seem to do nothing. So you know what? Oh yeah, they took away my Pokedex. <laughs> they, they took it away. I can't... Alright, we'll save. And if it's not a girl, we can just reset. So let, let's get the bird out. Let's get to the lake. And... Um, We'll save near the lake, ready. I see a new opening. 
That opening is new. I see that. I see that rocky formation. That's new. You buy items from the trading post in the village. Oh. Where you go? Look at that. Oh, there's a man here. Alright. Now, before I speak to you, Mr. Man, I just need to... I just need to hit that save again. My... Don't spy Craig from the construction. He ain't coming, dude. He's not the type to get lost, so I'm a bit worried. Listen, he ain't he ain't coming. I mean he might be behind this this lake, so I'll I'll just like dip over here. And we need an alpha Pokemon to break that. Sakai's gonna have to break that. Yo, Craig. Craig from Craigslist, you in here? Nope, but this is clearly where, like, some sort of Pokemon is going to be in the post-game. And the Soul Fragment. Well, remain. We'll put you back together. Alright, Sneasel. You can see her ass. Yes, I am immature. Right, we're looking. Oh, yeah. We got that off, China Echo. That doesn't matter. There's a wisp. Okay, another soul fragment. Didn't see that before. I'll, I don't mind. I'll take one of those. Eleven remain. We'll put you back together. Oh, that's just a baby bird. I do not need to fight you. Oh, dude, the the water the water spray is like green now. Oh, Cynthia, what a surprise! You beat me here. Right, let's save. Here we go. We're gonna get a Maffy. Ah, uh, hello. Here we are, Lake Acuity. So this is. Let me just double check the notes. This is how we get you. In the Valor Cavern during mission Trial of Lake Acuity. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It'll be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Nephi. Lake Acuity is protected by Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. Problems were born in people's minds. That's what the story says anyway. Yes, Arceus? Oh. Arceus is literally moving the rock. God, God has decided it's time to open the door. tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. If I get, if I get... Ah, oh, but we'll have to leave, wait. Uh, can we leave and go to Abra? Hey, phone. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Mephi, please. Alright. 
for now, I can save before fighting. Alright, we're going to save Scum the gender. I don't know if the gender can be randomised, but we are going to, we're going to save Scum. Alright. Who do we bring out here? We need to think about this very carefully. Cynthia can't come out because Garchomp is just way too fucking strong and will obliterate. Zera's Thundershock is probably fine, but we have to be very careful with it. Be a girl first, girl. This is a serious battle, there's no running. But I, I just want to know if I can turn it female. What the bleep? I just want to know how gender locking works. Oh. Turns out it is possible to reset until you get a female Zoroark. There you got. Look at this man. This man, boom, there with the knowledge. That's all we needed to know. Turns out it is possible to reset until you get a female Zoroark. It just took a long time because of Zoroark's male to female ratio. So, it's possible. We have learnt it's possible. We're just getting ratioed. So get, get that coffee chat, it's gonna be a long fucking night. It's gonna be a long fucking night. You know what? I'm gonna stop the recording. And I'll restart it once we get a female, because this could take literally hours. Okay, so like, it's 1am right now, at like 5 to 1, but like, it's 1am right now, for YouTube's reference. I'll tell you the time when we find a female, unless this is the female, because we've now got proof that it works. We've now got like, the evidence and the man backing up. Come on, Matthew, show face. Be the female. I'll brush your hair or something. I won't, I won't stop the video until this... No, fuck. Ah! Thank you all very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like the video, please feel free to leave a like. It does help out the channel as well as subscribe and hit the bell so that the notifications go through. And there are links below to the Twitch, if you want to come and see these recorded live before they get turned into highlights, a Discord so you can come and talk to me while I'm doing my editing, um, a link to my Twitter so you know when I'm going live on Twitch, and of course a link to the Patreons, which this month is Deddy, Dark Blue Fire, and Flick the Changeling. Thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it, and I will see all of you in the next video.